they were in a course taught by Dr. John Boardman on game theory. And so they've uh, done an application of game theory to biology that I think you're going to find interesting. So would you welcome uh, Heider and Jessica? Good afternoon. My name is Heider Patry, and I'm going to be telling you a little, little bit about feeding strategies of bald eagles. Uh, and this is encompassed by the subject of game theory. But first of all, some of you might be wondering, what exactly is game theory? Game theory is a topic in mathematics that deals with the optimum strategies of a group of competitors in a given scenario. For example, your classic example of this would be two businesses competing in a given area, and what the factors that determine how many consumers that they'll each end up having, what de what it'll depend upon is the price of their the, pr the price of their products and uh, the location of one business with respect to the other. So basically, a game theorist's job would be to find the optimum price for the products that the company is selling and the location of one business with respect to the other to see to where both of the companies are getting an optimum payout. So this can be applied not just to business but other various topics as well. You can have two company or two countries that are going to war with each other and you have to figure out like what's the best strategy employed to where fewest number are killed and like the the issue is settled in a good manner. Or even something as simple as two people playing chess. Now since Jess and I are biology majors, we decided to take a look at this from like an ecological standpoint. We wanted to see what the optimum feeding strategy for a bald eagle in a given area would be. So what we did was, this, the whole purpose of this project was to see the feeding strategies of the bald eagles and see if they were evolutionary stable strategies or not. An evolutionary stable strategy is one that maximizes fitness and is the most beneficial to the player. So the funny thing about the eagles is, is well, we have an eagle right here. Um, they're kind of they're kind of an odd species. Like they'll steal from other eagles even when food is abundant, and they have a high frequency of turnover among other eagles. And the eagles can communicate with each other using like bird calls and such. So the name of the game that the eagles play is the foraging game because they want to maximize the amount of food they get. So the two options for the eagle is they can either they can either steal their food or they can hunt for their food. Now you're going to have pure strategies and you're going to have mixed strategies. So that means that under the pure strategies the eagle will hunt at all times or the eagle will steal at all times. And under mixed strategies, the eagle will sometimes hunt and sometimes steal. Again, the purpose of this whole project is to see what the evolutionary st stable strategy is for the eagles. So, the first prediction that the researchers came up with is that the population-wide frequencies of hunting and stealing have been stabilized at the evolutionary stable strategy point where the payoffs of the tr true strategies are equal. So basically, you run an experiment and you have two groups. One group is the producers. These are the eagles that hunt and they secure their food stores. And your other group is your scroungers. These birds steal from the producers. The researchers observed that if there's many scroungers present, then the fitness of the scroungers will be less than that of the producers. And likewise, if say there's not very many scroungers present in comparison to the producers, that the fitness of the scroungers will actually be better than the producers. So the researchers concluded that the reason that the eagles steal even when food is abundant is because there's a greater probability that the eagle will end up being attacked or it'll end up injuring itself if, say, it's trying to hunt on its own. So that's why it's just easier for it to steal. And the, research also, the researchers also saw that the payoff 
is the same for both of the eagle, or the payoff is the same. It doesn't matter what, whether they hunt or they steal in the given scenario. The second prediction that the researchers came up with is that the size, age, position, and hunger serve as cues to settle contests with little escalated fighting. So basically, the researchers concluded that the outcome of fighting of the eagles is dependent on the size, the hunger level, and possibly also the, of the birds, and the age has no relevance in regards to fighting. It was also seen that the, the larger birds <coughs> defeated the smaller birds, and the hungry defeated the full, and the eagles that were in the air had a less likelihood of being injured in comparison to the ones that were uh, on the ground. So the third prediction was that the individuals choose strategies con contingent upon their phenotypes or roles. So this means that under one circumstance, the eagle will choose one strategy, and in another circumstance, the eagle might choose another strategy. Uh, a good example of this is that if, the, if there's two eagles, if you have the eagle that's stealing and the eagle that's hunting, if the eagle that's going to steal is larger than the eagle that's hunting, then it makes sense for that eagle to go in and steal the food from it. But it doesn't make sense if, say, the eagle that's stealing is smaller than the bird that's hunting because if it goes and tries to steal from this bird, it's not going to get all the food. So it just makes sense in that case for the, the smaller eagle to go ahead and hunt on its own to maximize its payoff. Because again, that's the whole point of this, to see which strategy will increase your payoff. 